him to be remembered as the best father that anyone could ask for and also at the same time being the best soldier that anyone could ask for. That's the main message. I think he was somewhat fascinated uh, with the military, the infantry in particular. When Travis was at Fort Benning for basic training, we went down to see the graduation. And Travis said to me, you know, this basic training was the best time I've had in my life. Now, a lot of people don't think that about basic training, but he thought it was more fun than anything he had ever done. When he was in the 101st, the enlistment was up. They wanted him to re-up. And he said, okay, but I want to go with the 501st in Alaska, okay? And uh, they said, there's no slots open. You can't go. He said, okay, I'm out of here. So he got out and uh, you know did some civilian jobs. He went to school over in Missoula for a short period of time. And uh, the civilian life just didn't do it for him. He had to get back in the Army. Travis knew the reality of serving in Iraq. He knew the danger. It was always the last thing he wanted to talk about. There were, the, you know, the conversations, you know, I'm going, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta do my job, you know, there's bad guys that, you know, don't like me very much, you know. He was very open about that. We went to Fort Drum for the deployment ceremonies where they cased the flags, sitting in the stands, and looking at the troops on the field, you know, um, a parent always realizes that some of them are not going to come back. They were searching for a soldier that had been captured. They came across four Iraqis who looked suspicious. Travis got out of his vehicle and uh, was able to apprehend one of them. But when he grabbed a hold of them, he realized the guy was wearing a, a suicide vest. And he dropped the guy to the ground. And, uh, and the guy, the Iraqi, uh, detonated the, the vest. Was that? There's always going to be a void, and you know, we accept that. I take anything I can and I try to turn it positive. So, you know, I take, yes, my dad's gone, and that's hard, but you know, it's the fact that what he did is so extreme and you know that just that moves me even more he was my icon he loved the army and he loved being with his troops and he <clears throat> did the very best he could It, it means the world to me. The Medal of Honor is it's the biggest one. I can't thank you know everyone enough, you know, for the support and everything that they've done to give him that, because he did truly deserve it. My my true treasure is what people say about him, and that's what that's what makes me the most proud. He was a great soldier and a great father. <laughs>